A little bit of a silence in the room. Okay, I think um, we will start the briefing of the President of the General Assembly. I would uh, thank you very much for your presence, the ones who stay here, the ones who have to leave us. Thank you very much for coming, and uh, I thank you. Okay, so let's start. Nice to see you again after a short break. Very nice. Uh, today, the General Assembly is holding an informal briefing by the co-chairs of the ad hoc open-ended working group established pursuant to the GA Resolution 72-277, entitled Towards a Global Pact for the Environment. In a letter, the co-chairs, His Excellency Mr. Francisco Duarte Lopes, Ambassador of Portugal, and the permanent representative of Lebanon, Her Excellency Amal Mudalali, informed member states that the working group had completed its mandate by agreeing on concrete recommendations to the General Assembly. The co-facilitators also thanked member states, specialized agencies, and non-governmental organizations for their cooperation, constructive engagement, and support. The recommendations on which member states are being briefed today include reaffirming the role of UN environments and a proposal for an intergovernmental process towards a political declaration to be considered by uh, the fifth UN Environment As Assembly in Nairobi, Kenya, which will coincide with the 50th anniversary of the Stockholm Declaration in 2022. Okay, in her address this morning, the President of the General Assembly, Ms. Maria Fernandez Espinosa, congratulated the co-facilitators for their work, for delivery on time, extremely important. The PJ also praised their skillful stewardship of this complex process over three substantive sessions. She thanked Member States and the Secretariat for their cooperation. Mrs. Espinosa said that the General Assembly now has a set of actionable recommendations set out in a report available in the six official languages online for you with regards to the multilateral environment frameworks and international environmental law, which will ensure that we are on track to realize our shared ambitions. And finally, the PJ's agenda, she started her day by meeting the permanent representatives of Canada and Ghana, her, His Excellency, first of all, Mr. Marc-André Blanchard, and Her Excellency, Ms. Marta Poubi, the co-facilitators on the modalities for the high-level dialogue on financing for development, and this event will take place here on the 26th September. Ms. Spinoza also took part in the briefing on the outcome of the ad hoc open-ended working group, as we just mentioned. And as we speak, more or less, she will be meeting the Assistant Secretary General of the UN Development Coordination Office, Mr. Robert Piper. Actually, she just met him, but she will meet the Executive Secretary of ECLAC, Ms. Alicia Barsena. And on a separate meeting, His Excellency Ambassador Olaf Skoog. This is all from us. Do you have any questions? Stefano, how are you? I'm fine. Hope you had a good vacation. <laughs> Thank um, you. Yes, if, uh, the secret if the President of General Assembly had any surprise for the SDG report, if there is any data, anything that she didn't expect it, and good and well. And then also, you just mentioned that she is going to welcome the new ambassador from Ghana. No, right? no, she met the ambassador Oh, of she Ghana. met already. Yes, okay. yes, Ms. And Martha uh, did she, any chance that she asked what happened recently in Ghana? We have a report that journalists were uh, uh, briefly arrested, and from what they they recounted, he said they were held for a couple of days. They were tortured and then released. And this is uh, from a CPJ report. So I would like to know if she is aware of that, if there's any chance that she has the ambassador. Okay, so first of all, the, the meeting um, has uh, uh, actually took place this morning, as I said, and it was on financing for development. So I don't have any information on what you just mentioned, but I can look into it for, for you. Um, on the SDGs, the, the, the president has been uh, stressing that we need an accelerated uh, action uh, from all, actually, as, an, uh, as a collective effort in order to, um, to meet the SDGs, to meet what we proposed um, uh, as this uh, working agenda uh, to be achieved by uh, 2030. 
you know that today, for instance, we just had a, a very uh, uh, concerning uh, report on the education indicators that we need to do more because we're not doing as well as you we should. Uh, the president has been um, aware of uh, uh, these challenges that are uh, pre being presented. And one of the, of the her recommendations is that uh, we, uh, you know, as member states, as uh, national stakeholders, but also as international organizations, civil society, this is a job for everybody. And this mu there must be uh, a more action towards, uh, because we don't have time now to uh, wait. We have actually to act on a, a, a faster uh, pace. That's what she has been uh, uh, saying. And uh, she also uh, is taking an active part in, in helping to uh, to organize uh, uh, the the summit, and uh, also she has been talking uh, with uh, interlocutors and uh, uh, you know heads of state and government as well, in order for uh, the governments uh, to come with um, you know their their national plans and uh, what measures they are taking in order to to make it happen by the time of 2030, the time that we set as the United Nations and member states. So is that all from you? I thank you so much for staying here. I thought we had a record the other day, but uh, actually we made one today. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>